today we are making butternut squash curry. I know it's not uh, a very uh, common thing, um, but it tastes really nice. So this is quite a big one, so I'm just going to use half of it. Um, so just bear with me whilst I chop. Uh, so I've just chopped it in half. Uh, I'm just going to peel it now. So I've um, peeled it and I'm just going to chop it in half because this has seeds in the middle. So I'm just going to need to remove the seeds. So uh, just use a spoon to remove the seeds. So just remove the, um, the end bits. And then chop it into um, squares of about an inch. Um, you can, so I'll just slice this into long pieces and then you can remove the, uh, the hairy bit uh, after it's in slices. It's just easier to remove. Right, see? Um, so you've got long slices and then you just... Uh, Cut it out. So just chopping them into pieces, into bite sized pieces. Um, I did mention uh, inch cubes earlier, but if you want them smaller, um, that's fine. They'll just cook quicker. Okay, so we're going to start uh, cooking them now. Uh, so in a pan, um, take about a tablespoon of oil, heat it up. So the oil is hot now, so I'm just putting in some uh, fenugreek seeds, mustard, cumin, as you can see they've already started popping. And then one of the most ingredient, uh, important ingredients in this is uh, ajwain seeds or caraway seeds, some asafoetida powder. Give it a little mix. So it started popping, and uh, just pop in your butternut squash cubes. So I've just stirred it a little bit. Um, I'm putting uh, salt, uh, about a teaspoon, but uh, it depends on taste. Turmeric powder, about a teaspoon. Uh, now this is frozen crushed ginger, you can use fresh, um, so just some ginger, some chilli, crushed chilli, I'm just going to add some water now. Not too much because uh, the butternut squash does release uh, some, so I've used about two thirds of this glass of water. And just give it a little stir. Make sure the spices, the salt, the turmeric all mixes. So I've just uh, mixed it um, and now I'm going to cover it and let it uh, cook for about say five to seven minutes before I check again. So I'm just going to uh, give it a stir, check if they're cooking. So you'll be able to see that they have started to soften. Um, try squashing one. It's still hard. Oops. Uh, So we'll just wait for a few more minutes. Um, you can see that uh, some of the water has absorbed. Um, so by the time it's cooked, hopefully it should be uh, fairly dry. So I'm just going to check 
uh, water has absorbed nearly um, they look cooked I'm just gonna test with a knife um, they should have a they can't be they shouldn't be completely soft they should have a little bit of a bite in them um, and and this seems fine um, now you can add chopped tomatoes in this if you want but we prefer it without it tastes um, lovely without and then the last thing we're going to add is uh, cumin and coriander powder be generous with this give it a little mix So just mixed it um, and uh, I'm just going to cover it because this is a thick based pan it will still be cooking for a few minutes after so I'm going to cover it and switch it off um, but you can leave it on very low heat uh, for another minute or so. So. Um, Dinner is ready and served. You've got butternut squash curry, some rotis or chapatis that we've made, uh, papadum or papar on the side, uh, roasted, healthy, um, and then some salad. Enjoy!